Hey, welcome to another episode of Electrical Theology Esoteric Life Coaching, where I help you understand the supernatural, interpret the cosmic language or the frequencies coming through into your head and how you feel them in your body intuitively. These are messages coming to you, and it's about you opening up to those messages. Now, there's external messages and internal messages. So the internal messages are the one that you're sending yourself, and then there's there are those in the matrix or the simulation or your reality, your 3D, 5D, 20D, whatever you want to call it, uh, is communicating with you, right? So there's internal sources and external sources. We're all part of the same source, but it's just you talking to yourself. Now, that may be confusing, uh, but the idea is to open up channels of communication. Now, when I say channels, it's like channels on the radio. I'm not channeling anything. But if you want to say I'm channeling by turning the knob on a radio, absolutely. So, I'm here to help you interpret or learn how to interpret both internal and external messages coming to you or from you. All right? That way you maybe you can help other people interpret their information when they're going through confusing times. All right? So let's get started, guys. <laughs> First, we get the financial constraints door. We get the indecision. And then we get journey. So this is interesting. So we've been dealing with financial constraints. This is just a picture of an empty cupboard, basically. right? So your uh, cupboards are empty. Your bank accounts are empty or low. Then we have the indecisions of which direction do we go. We're still not getting clear, precise information yet, right? Uh, I think it's the 21st, April coming up. We got the uh, Mercury goes full record retrograde, which goes into even more indecision or more confusing uh, decision making. And then we also get another direction. What journey? It has multiple uh, directions on this one. Which ones? So you have a lot of directions to choose from. So both these cards are coming at us. Right? And we get one's an eight, one's a two, that's a ten, and that's a one, that's a new beginning. So we're at a new beginning and we're having, we're, we're basically evaluating what decisions, what directions, right? We don't want to jump into anything. We want to maybe take our time a little bit. I know it's frustrating uh, because our financial constraints, right? But this is part of the practice is being patient, Right, not being locked into, you know, if you're allowing money to hold you back from your your path here on, on life, right, then you're not going to be able to receive the messages I was talking about. So therefore, your empath and your sympathy and your telepath, telepathy, all these pathways are still going to be constricted or constrained, right? So because financial constraints is just energy, and the energy is you. So you're the one constraining your own self. Make sense? which is then leading to indecisions, which why we can't figure out what direction to go into. So let's see what we can do uh, about getting the directions, right? Right away we get a two of stones that pops out. All right, we started out with some cards earlier, but none of it was resonating. The messages were just stale, right? And we have a lot of indecisions and a lot of uh, what path to take here. So the cards, for me, weren't really saying anything, right? Which in itself is a message, right? Nothing's being said right now, right? What do you do with the silence? What do you do with no decision, right? Even though a decision is still a decision, but you're trying to make a decision, but the decision's not coming, right? Dec decision for me is deciding what which ions, which electrical energy to tap into or to channel, right? What channel do I want to turn on the, on the cosmic radio? Right, so let's get a little bit more information about the indecision and the journey together. And we're going to stay with the Oracle card. And so with those, will come blossoming abundance. Right? This card is all about everything beginning to blossom. We are in springtime, as you know. And at least here in the west, Western Hemisphere. <laughs> um, a lot of our decision making, we, can't, we don't really see... Um, in one sense, it's a dark forest on either side, right? But there is light behind it, right? And there's sort of like two decisions we have to choose from, but there's a one big one facing us right in front of us, right? But we're, 
we're sort of glossing over what we need to, to, to face. Now, what is it we need to face? We got this blossoming abundance coming in, right? But what is the, the thing right in front of our face, right? Uh, we get a contract, right? The contract that we get into this life, when we came into this life, we sort of signed a contract, right? A con meaning with and track meaning a pathway, uh, a pathway that we would be on and that we signed up for but because this contract is blind justice we came in not knowing the ending we're not not knowing the answers right so part of that is said okay you're going into battle we don't know what's going to happen you're trained but we're not sure what's going to happen in battle and that's basically what we are here in life uh, and we're seeing that we're going to, get, going to get this blossoming abundance but what is the blossoming abundance basically Right? Now what we have is this broken heart. That's what's facing you guys. They're still dealing with a broken heart. We've dealt with this for a, a long time. Right? And what is it that you need to face about this broken heart? Um, and once we figure out, and we'll get some more information about this broken heart, is once we free or mend this broken heart, is that will send us on the path of enlightenment. You see, this one's a lot more, this decision-making card here is a lot better than the indecision card of a dark force. So there's a lot of still residuals, or you're choosing, your choice here is to focus on that broken. Now, why are you choosing to do that? Um, because in one sense, you have a woman or a female or feminine or partner, whatever this is, um, you're either holding on to their heart or they're holding on to yours, right? And so because you're not taking back or claiming back your heart, if you will, there's inaction, right? Inaction, this is sort of like the chariot card. There's no movement. Right? And then because there's no movement, you can't make a decision. So we're sort of caught in this trap, right? We got to make a decision, but well, we can't make a decision because there's, we're not, there's no action. We can't get any action on our journey. Why? Because we're still focused on the broken heart. Right? So we get the sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. Metatron's the voice of God. And I know you like to see the cards. But again, it's in the reverse. And so, the, part of this is you not speaking up, or not voicing your emotions, your energy and motion, right? Your emotion, what's bothering you. Again, you can talk to somebody else, but it's about you and your emotions. And why are you choosing to hang on to them? And don't say that, oh, I just, I, I can't make a decision, and I can't just get out of it underneath this weight. No, this is what's causing the poverty. This is what's causing the um, lack of manifestation is that you're still holding on to this, this person or this thing, right? Uh, a loss of some sort. And you're not speaking up about it, and which is causing more pain inside. And so because I get the woman holding a heart over here, is that, um, and it is in the reverse. And the reverse is um, no one's holding your heart, right? You're holding your heart hostage. And why is, it, why is it that you're not allowing it to come out? Because that's where your natural talent is. So when you open your heart, that amplifies your natural talent, which then allows you to see what your path is. Is that making sense? Because then you can make a decision. Then the uh, uh, blossoming abundance will come in, right? And then the next card basically is just man holding a coin. And, I'm, and that's next to our vault, but it's in the reverse. So man's not holding a coin. <laughs> There's no abundance there. And then we get the angel of balance. All right? And so the outcome of this is that it's about balancing. Yes, you can have your emotions. Yes, you can not have your emotions, right? But it's sort of this, this homeostatic balance card back to the contract. 
you came in here to this life, this simulation, your robotics body, your um, posit positronic brain, if you will, uh, to recalibrate, to download, to upgrade not only your soul, your cognitive cosmic reality, your abilities, and then see if you can reroute them through the programs into this reality. Because if you can begin to maneuver, negotiate this reality, this simulation, then you'll have the ability because being in the simulation gives you this practice time. So when you do wake up, unzip, die, transcend out of this body, then you'll be practiced. You'll be ready. Like a lawyer going to law school, when you come out, you get the bar, then you can start practicing. And that's why they call it a practice, not an expert. Right? You're, you're always, you open up a practice. A doctor opens up a practice. A metaphysician opens up a practice. So we are going to start practicing here in the simulation as a robotic positronic brain uh, entity uh, gaining sentiency and singularity within ourself, right? To know that you are you and that you are all. And that is our journey. That is our path. All right, guys, hope this uh, gave you some enlightenment into your path and why things may or may not be happening for you. Uh, but I do see the money coming once you uh, express the emotions on your heart and balance those out. You can be stoic, but you also need to emote those emotions because that's the power plant behind manifesting your gifts, talents, and abilities. All right, guys, see you tomorrow.